Hi there, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing really, really well today. So I am back with a garden video. It is a long time since I've done a garden video because it's a long time since I've been in the garden and I am... I can't believe I'm even saying that because I love gardening but I don't know I think when it starts to get dark early it gets harder to get yourself out there when it gets cold it's just not a priority so we haven't been in the garden since before October which is quite a while now so it's much needed and we definitely need to get out there you can see little Rory <laughs> up here <laughs> hopefully he stays quiet because we all know he's a chatterbox um, but yes, I am looking forward to this video just to get out there, do what I can do. I am no gardener. I am learning on the job. I've never really gardened till we moved into this house. So there is a lot out there. It was quite an established garden when we moved in. I've got no idea what I'm doing, but every season that comes around, you know, I learn something new and I figure it out as I go. So if you see me doing something and you think you shouldn't be doing that now or whatever, then just let me know because I'm all for learning, you know, constructive criticism um, and helpful handy tips as well. I've got a gardening magazine that I got from my cousin who, she's a horticulturist I think, and it was really helpful, it gave me some really great tips. So I've written a little list of things that I can do out there and then other than that I need to do a declutter of the shed again. It's just like an ongoing thing in there and I don't know what I can do. So when we go out there, I will show you and we can figure out what I can do to make it easier to live with because it's just, it's bad, let's be honest. And at some point in the next few months, I want to start planting seeds. So I really wanna do sunflowers again. Um, I've got so much to crack on with today. I've also got some tulips, which were from one of our beautiful friends as a wedding present, which is lovely. So I need to plant those because I think it is tulip planting season. But yes, we will get out there in just a sec. For now, I wanna say a big thank you to today's sponsor, which is Athletic Greens. So as you guys know, I've been drinking AG1 for a long, long time now best swap I've ever made honestly it made such a difference to my health when I think about this time last year and the year before gardening was such a drain it was such a hassle I found it so tiring I just had no get up and go and no stamina when I was out there and life is just so different now I've got so much more energy and so much more vibrance and I look forward to this little drink every single day so AG1 actually has 75 vitamins and minerals inside as well as prebiotics probiotics adaptogens and antioxidants and they're all from whole food source traceable ingredients which is super important to me I love the emphasis they put on that and I think it's really amazing to for them to hold themselves accountable to being traceable and also sourcing things in a good way as well for the planet, for the people, it's fantastic. So all you need to do is pop one scoop or one travel pack into eight to 12 ounces of water, give it a good old shake and then that is it. It's so simple, so easy and I love the fact that when you first sign up you get this amazing canister and then when you need refills they come in these little refill packs and you can just pop them in and it's just so good because it just makes so much sense it's so quick, so easy, and I love it so much. I love the fact you can take it on the go in this handy little travel bottle. It's just so nice and such a good way to start the day. It cuts through that morning brain fog for me and just helps me to have a good anchor point to start the day. I love just waking up, drinking this, feeling like I'm ready to go and get on with my day. I also feel like it's quite hydrating for me and it just, yeah, it makes a big difference in the morning. So AG1 also helps to support immunity, energy levels and gut health and they're offering five free travel packs and a year's supply of vitamin D3, K2 with your first purchase. So I'll leave the links down below so you can check it out for yourselves but it's been such an investment, an investment into my health and I'm so, so happy for it. It's so much easier than taking lots of different tablets it seems really streamlined minimalist and easy like all you need to do is just remember to drink it and I think that for me it's been an anchor point in my mornings of come downstairs drink my AG1 and then it's like I can have breakfast after that and it's just been a really easy way to do it and I just really enjoy it I usually take it outside take the cats outside for their morning wander and drink it while I'm out there and it's just such a nice way to start the day but that being said I do need to crack on and get out there and go do some gardening and I'm going to take this with me probably drink it all in one go because that's the way I like to drink it rather than sipping on it but yes I'm gonna have a drink now actually oh, oh I just love it I love it so much it's so refreshing mm. okay 
so this is this um, shed. <laughs> yes, chaos. I think these chairs aren't helping anything. I got this from um, the organic meat delivery that I got. I shouldn't be touching it that much, it stinks. It's sheep's wool that they used to insulate the bag, which I thought was brilliant. So completely natural. And I need to research this, but I was going to use this for my strawberries to keep them nice and toasty warm over the winter. So I popped it in here to reuse. And then we've got some paint, which is another project of ours. So I need to just put that in a place that's out of the way, because at the minute I just couldn't get any further. Um, so I might take this out of here, because it's in the way quite a lot. And then I've got my sunbed, which has just been plonked there. And the cat um, boxes, which were down here, but I don't really want to put them away, because we're going away again soon, so I, I don't know. <sighs> I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> the cats are out here just having a great time. Bless them. And then I've got all these leaves to sweep up. And then in here, I need to put all of these boxes away. Like I was doing an investigate. <laughs> So basically the other week we forgot to take the recycle bins out and we own three Etsy shops. There is a lot of recycling that comes into this house and it was just a nightmare and I ordered some food boxes as well and so there was just so much recycling. So I need to break that all down and pop them into the recycle bins. I think they go in a few days, hopefully. So I think we'll start with the path of least resistance which is probably putting all those boxes in the bin so that that at least looks tidy and then raking the leaves and then we will see what we can carry on with, but here goes, eh? I think this is probably gonna be the last thing I do if I have the energy to do it. Maybe I'll do it another day when it's raining or something, you know? I'm not sure if it's gonna to rain today. I think it's just gonna be cloudy, so hopefully we don't get rained off. It's cold out here. I wasn't expecting it to be this cold. I should have thought better because it is now the end of November. Whew. Hopefully I'll be all right once I start moving around. I'll do some star jumps. <laughs> I am in, as my nana would call them, glad rags. My glad rags. I googled what that meant before I came out because I was really intrigued. I'd never actually thought about it before. And apparently it's like a slang word for your best clothing, which I think is ironic. And I think that's the way she says it. Like, I'm in my best clothing for gardening. No, we are in the most scruffy clothes I own. This is so stained. <laughs> and I've got my Uggs on as well, which again, water stained. And they're gonna hopefully <laughs> keep my toes dry. I think actually might have been better off with my other garden shoes so if these get wet I will change halfway through. <sighs> Here goes. So I carried on with cleaning the little shed bush shelter as I call it, getting rid of as many leaves as I could. I didn't realise how many leaves had actually piled up in here around all the cardboard boxes, but it felt good to give it a good old sweep. I won't show you because some of you might be scared of spiders. I've just seen the most giant spider that I've ever seen in the UK. Must have been about this big. I feel like I shouldn't turn my back on him in case he like jumps at me. <laughs> And then I started with this patio area, which is mad. At the minute, there's so much moss, there were so many leaves and berries from next door's tree. I love that tree, but oh boy, what a mess it makes every single year. I am composting as many leaves and things from the garden as I can, but our compost bin is nearly full. So I'm gonna see at some point if the soil is ready to be used that's at the bottom. But this was back breaking work. It was so stuck to the moss and I'm glad I just did it now, but wow, it's not stopped raining for weeks and so the leaves were just so soggy. But I couldn't believe how beautiful they were. Those little yellow ones just made me smile, so I had to share. And 
And then I just carried on underneath this table area. I'm leaving the leaves on the soil to compost down and hopefully give us some good soil for next year but these ones were just in the way and the ones from the conker tree are massive so I just removed as many as I could just so that they don't become a trip hazard and a bit slippy for Mr Postman when he comes down here with my things when I'm out. Um, I just find random stuff in places all the time and then just chuck it somewhere else and I watch footage back like why do I do this? I had to show you the magnolia buds. I can't believe it's already got buds. I feel like that is so early. And this conker tree that looks like an alien who has just got out of hand this year. I started with these giant shears and quickly realised I was getting nowhere fast. I should have just used a stepladder but I didn't realise we had one outside so anyway I've chopped it to as far as I could get. And then this disaster needed sorting as well, the clematis fell over in high winds that we had recently and neither of us have had the time, energy, motivation to put it back up so I tackled it all the way back up and then I realised there was nothing to tie it on with so I had to let it all go again <laughs> which was a nightmare, I nearly fell over. Oh dear. Anyway, I eventually wrangled it in place and I managed to get it somewhat uh, situated, but it does need a lot of attention. I think I need to bring the drill out and actually make some, you know, long-term solutions for these trellis because that is just so heavy, but this jasmine and clematis is just beautiful. And I moved on to the strawberries. This again, I did this recently, but there are so many runners and just so many extra plants that should not be there. So I just took a little while to go through, remove any dead leaves and just get it really, really ready for winter. Moving on to the pear tree now and just snipping off little bits. We actually are happy with how tall the pear tree is and I need to double check with Dom because it's his tree too but I didn't want to take too much off. It does grow crazy crazy wild but as you can see most of its branches are down at the bottom so I didn't want to take too much off and I also don't want it to be too straggly so I need to figure this out but for now I was happy with what I did. We'll see what it looks like I guess next year but it's all a learning curve. I'm just um, trimming down my peonies now because they looked horrendous and they'll come back and I can't wait because this plant was already double the size it was last year and it was so beautiful. And then the last thing that needed doing was removing any of the infected leaves from the rose bushes. So there are quite a lot of yellow leaves which have, I think it's called rust on. So I just made sure to remove those and then sweep them from under the rose bush, which is one of the things it said in the magazine I spoke about earlier in the video. Um, this is the only place that I'm actually removing the leaves, like I said, the rest of the places I'm just going to leave them for now.
This is why it's always important to check your welly. <laughs> why did I just tip them onto the floor? I've just swept. I'm going to move on to the shed now. I think that's probably it for what I can do in the garden. If there's anything that I forgot to do, just let me know. I'm letting the leaves be. I think it's probably good for the soil for it to compost back down and give nutrients back to the earth so I don't want to interfere. And I think it's probably good coverage as well for the plants underneath um, for the frost. So there's the clematis and the buddleia but I've researched that and it said early spring so after the frost has been so I'm not going to do anything with those so don't want to kill them. Um, yeah so there's not as much garden as I thought it's just a lot of sweeping and clearing and oh, it's just a lot. I'm going to clean the shed now and then we can plant some tulip bulbs and then they will pop up in spring and I can't wait. I love tulips so much. I'm going to do some research as well for what other plants I could plant. I have to be a bit careful because of the cats but there is loads of stuff in this garden that is toxic to cats and they're absolutely fine so I think they're quite sensible when they're out here. Like I've never seen them eating anything other than grass so I kind of trust them but I also don't want to do things like lilies because obviously they're terrible <laughs> if they get the pollen on them so I'm not even risking having lilies in the garden um, and for other people's cats as well. Yeah. Let's crack on shall we? So I need to give this a hose down but we're getting our Christmas tree tomorrow so I will take this into the house, no point it being out here and then it's one last thing to do tomorrow but it's so cobwebby and gross and it's so difficult to clean this thing Um, the cats will love this, they will have so much fun sniffing this <laughs> I'm also going to take my paint in because it's getting really cold at night now and I don't want the frost to get to the paint and then it'd be a waste of time. It was on a really good offer um, at B&Q a couple months ago when I was doing DIY with Dom's family so I got it because I knew that we needed to redo our entire house. So I'm going to pop that back inside. Who knows where? <laughs> this is what I could do with a garage, you know? These chairs as well, I think I think in the summer I'm going to put them on Facebook Marketplace because we just haven't used them in the, I think it's like a year, two years, I don't know when we got them now. We just haven't used them. I thought we would have people around for barbecues and stuff but in reality we go to other people's houses and that is a good thing. <laughs> and our garden and just like our life setup isn't really, doesn't really work for it so that's fine. Um, but they take up so much space that we just don't have because we've got six because we had a giant table to begin with So I think for now I will Just pop them somewhere out of the way and then we will deal with them Next year when people are buying garden furniture because no one will be buying them right now I set them in the Didn't know I had these. Why have I got these on? These look fab. When did I buy these? I don't know, but thank you, past key. Ooh. <laughs> Is there anything better than a new pair of gardening gloves? Oh, they're fab. Okay, these can go in the bin because they have a hole in. Okay, so it's not perfect by any means, but it is a lot better. I can actually get in now, which is fab. I can't figure out why, but the head of this unicorn that um, 
looks rather disgusting actually, I think it must have got pooed on. It won't go down and I don't know why, so she's just chilling here until next summer and then I can use her again. I've put the cat boxes where they're actually accessible so when I come in it's not annoying and hard to get to them and then this, like I said, for when it starts getting frosty for the strawberries, this um, shed leaks so I've just popped this here because this part of the shed doesn't leak and this is obviously electric so I don't want it to get ruined. Um, yeah, I think it's better. I think it looks better than it did before. I'm not sure what this box is for, so I'm going to ask Dom and then if it can go in the recycle bin then I can pop it in. But that is that, so I'm going to do some planting now. So these are what we've got, but on the back it says to plant from August, but I've seen... <laughs> I don't know why I'm crouching. I've seen loads of gardening channels and programmes that I watch where they've been planting tulips, so... I don't really know. It's really strange. But then it says on the back, clear and store until autumn when they can be replanted. I'm going to plant them. <laughs> I'm going to put some in some pots and then I might plant a few up near the roses because I think they all got really disturbed when I planted those this year. So that is the plant and how beautiful they look. I might get some more when I'm out and about because I'm going to go to some garden centres over Christmas and just fill the garden with tulips because I love them. And I want to get some snowdrops as well and some bluebells. We've already got them in the garden, but I'm never sure what's going to come back and what's not because I'm still trying to figure it out. Anyway. My goodness, it is chilly out there. I am freezing. I'm gonna go jump in the shower, make myself a nice hot chocolate, but I hope you've enjoyed this gardening video. Not a lot happened, I guess, but I think that's part of the fun of gardening is each season is completely different. Sometimes there's lots of planting and gardening to do. Other times it's like today where it's just a lot of tidying and cleaning and I kind of enjoyed that. It felt like a good sweep of autumn, preparing ourselves for winter and the cold, cold days that come ahead of us. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I feel good though. I feel good for getting outside. I'm trying so hard recently to get myself outside more and I think gardening is one of those ways that just, it's effortless. You can lose so many hours out there and you're so focused on what you're doing. It's such a mindful task. I love it so much. 
that is it from me today. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget as well that Athletic Greens are offering five free travel packs with your first purchase and a year's supply of vitamin D3, K2. So I'll make sure I leave the link down below for you to all check out. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you want to watch more garden videos, I'll make sure I leave a playlist down below. But you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>